So heading up here to get the trailer parts that got left behind when I broke the lateral bolt coming down. Of course, no statutes, but the whole, the rarity of seeing uh, cross country motorized traveling prohibited. It's just another way of saying not a, a thorough road connection. That's not too hard to fix, but getting to the top stem. I'm trying to figure out basically how to safely peel a banana that's been welded probably since the beginning. gas plant they projected three phases maybe it was even four but they only got to phase one because it didn't hold the supply that they thought it did so I doubt this back area is gonna hold much more than a villa and water contracts are only for a hundred years so it makes sense that it would have to rest for a hundred years if you're pumping a hundred years straight So babe, this is the back side of Pyramid Rock. And that might be the most color, colorful spot. I can't tell, I got my sunglasses on. Yeah, I don't know what road it is. I'd call it West Wild Horse Road. But this is like probably the first real downhill creek. basically back there just a little bit in front of the rock shelf should be a well that just measures the depth because if it's too far below the shell you're only getting the shells only going to get watered when the moisture arrives coming back here why it's still daylight hours just to the west of that is actually a trail marker Kind of just level scanning. Like this would be the upper well of the lowest well. More like EPA well. Like some of the congressional garbage they come up with as they work in reverse without thinking it through first but the good thing is the pipeline is running high but that is not the right county so that would be Maybe even just a secondary location, because I think that other one, that lower one's gotta be, it's not that far back. Probably on the other side of that.
but yeah the fracking theory it's for pocket sections and irrigated steel pipe that makes sense but it should only be pocket areas which basically would be by a well uh, a pond a pool a water table so it running high like this doesn't surprise me you guys are not getting a whole lot out of it yeah and that was probably less than 20 feet It should be yellow and white gas and water pipeline. But still, for the digging permit to be out of Laramie County when it's Mesa County, yeah, that's the kind of stuff the EPA will empower law enforcement with. That should be a seismic box on top of the other sensors and monitors. So it appears that mile marker six is missing along the route. And this is the high side from the last stop. You should see the last view. This will probably be the last one, but it's probably the best example I've seen. So starting from the road and just scanning around again at... So right there's the line. walk around the car it's all downhill from there so that's basically the divide from one book cliff more or less it looks like ATVs have been using it. Definitely not a good camping spot or fire pit spot. For winter time, it's fine. It looks like the shell's right there. Started the shell. And then it goes into real heavy rock, it appears. So yeah, it's basically where a water table should be in. So it wouldn't be unrealistic to have three wells monitor what the water flow is in the actual water table yeah I have to be a little bit more observant about the equipment the claimed county equipment coming down except road blade They didn't touch anything, it appears, coming down. And rightfully so, I mean, pretty solid chunk.
so yeah had to be Laramie County blade came down and more than anything else he just dug another rut he didn't blade anything and this is probably the worst spot I think the National National Guard's idea of going three tone may be the best bet so easier to uh, distinguish counties. Now the girls at Grand Junction BLM main office I need to put a pinhole for them too. But they keep saying there's no activity up here. Now Garfield County would make sense to be crossing over or something like that but I'm not that high on in the county section it might be winter flats and somewhere in here is probably the fork in the road and there's no mile marker but this is where the the blade came out of And I can't pin my location. My uh, my data is all jacked up on my track phone. So this spot looks very similar to the face of the book cliffs. That'd be one of the National Guard's stuff on the. Uh, EPA side for that coal silt. I think, yeah, from my understanding, they're the ones that built the ponds. And that sludge ponds, basically, silts, sludge. I don't know what's going on back there. I've never taken that road. Yeah, his was like a, a dull, dull yellow, a little brighter than the faded pipeline. Uh, it worked out really good. Uh, appears like it got about four more inches because this was all packed from me driving over it and leveling it. Yeah, so four more inches on top of it's nuts and deer tracks going down. That is shake the top screen off. Looks like about half the snow 
or a quarter of the snow went past the first screen. All the uh, trailer parts are still there. They're, for the most, most part, buried. Oh, and I wanted to walk down here because the bricks going across the water. So the ice is on top of the first brick. Wait, hold on. No. Okay, so there's the first brick. So it's pretty much even with the first brick. And the second brick. Which are put in there sideways like that so the water can go through them. Okay, got what I needed. Yeah, some uh, snow marking sticks would be awesome. You think BLM would be keeping track of that? I'm on the on-ramp at Palisade. See, I wanted to walk back here to where the boulder had hit the fence. I guess you know, it looks like it's more just a mudslide. Really good, de good design. It held up really well. But anyway, further up here, basically right after the bin, I don't think it's too dark. Uh, no, I guess not. There's enough uh, city light reflecting. You can see basically where the sign is right in the middle of the ridge, the two ridges. So just around that bend, there used to, it used to be BLM property, but then the city bought it up. And what is there is basically uh, a midpoint breather uh, tube for the Ute water line. So basically the stem at the top that's capped, banana welded, the reason why the plant gets less than what's coming down through the cores pipe is because it has a breather down here rather up there at the stem there's no shut off no diversion the generator has been ripped out for a long time so if it ever got shut off it couldn't be restarted anyway so there's a massive amount of work that has to be done that got left on the wayside over the years
Yeah, I think it's like right in here. Some stakes already out there, it looks like. It's approximately where that vent tube, that basically looks like a candy cane. sure it's on the other side of this foothill on the downside slope but how it runs across I have no idea and in theory whatever the blue print shows on it if the vent was capped here then it should be drawing the water reverse flow over basically over the plateau but through the plateau because of the pipe stem <laughs> 